What is good, y'all? What is going on, everybody? What is good, pretty chocolate girl? What is good? Okay, you having a live today? Okay, I'll be over there for sure. I ain't even going to be on here long, y'all, but I felt like I needed to come here and give y'all an update. <clears throat> so I was on my main channel about two weeks ago. It showed y'all my face and all that. But I know some people over here are not on my main channel, which, to be honest, if you don't know about my main channel, don't go over there because it's a lot of drama. But anyway, I wanted to come here to give y'all an update about myself. So, y'all, I am finally getting back into the groove of things. Today marks day one of my next extended fast. I haven't done a long extended fast since february and so what's good taylor may and so because i haven't done an extended fast since february y'all i was like okay it's time for me to do an extended fast for um for the summer just an extended summer fast which means that i plan to fast without um without any destination um in february when i made it to 14 days it was because i woke up one morning and said i'm going to fast and i'm just going to see how long my body is going to allow me i'm just going to see how long i can withstand and so this is what i'm starting today <clears throat> i do plan to drink <clears throat> these super coffees during this fast but only one in the morning like this is my breakfast and what i have started doing y'all is I will get this super keto coffee and I will um, drink half. So this coffee right here has 80 calories and then it also has three grams of carbohydrates for the full bottle. So what I do is I take this bottle, I pour out half of it and I replace um, the remainder of the bottle with black iced coffee from walmart or Publix or wherever that you can get the black ice i put um iced coffee in um as half and that's how i come up with this so essentially i'm taking one bottle of this and stretching it over two days not only that but it's giving me calories during my fast um it's giving me some nutrients as well some vitamins but then also, it's allowing me to be able to stretch a dollar. Because y'all know I'm frugal. I'll stretch a dollar. What's good, poetry? What's good to everybody? So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm drinking this for this morning. And then for the remainder of the day, it's going to be back to my black coffee, um, green tea, and water. And I'm just going to see how far I can go with my fasting. But did y'all come here to meet Zulu? Is that what y'all came here for? Press one if you came here to meet Zulu. 
Press one if you did. <clears throat> Y'all, so I have been going through a certain transitional phase within my life, probably for about the last week or two. And because of that, now I'm finally getting to a position and a place where I can finally get myself back on track because I had to embrace motherhood. I had to embrace motherhood. This is Zulu, y'all. This is Zulu. His name is Zulu Dunn. This is my new pup. Y'all, I have been a mother along the way because when Zulu's mama was pregnant with him, I found out about it and I found out that I wanted it. I said, I think I want one of those dogs. I said, I think I want one of those dogs. And so, y'all, this is Zulu Dunn. This is first time on camera. And, y'all, I was thinking about making a channel for him so that he could do ASMRs for y'all. <laughs> I was thinking about it. Thank you. And so, y'all, <clears throat> Zulu, I first found out about Zulu in March. His mama was still pregnant then. <clears throat> and so what I had to do was wait out the pregnancy, um, keep in touch with the breeder, who is also one of my <clears throat> college friends. And um, Zulu was born in May. Zulu was born on May 15th of this year. And um, once he and his siblings were born, I had to track that to make sure that Zulu was going to be healthy enough and at a healthy weight for him to come home with me. So that's what I have been doing thus far. That's what I've been doing thus far. And I was able to go and pick up Zulu this past weekend. That's why I had to travel. Because um, I had to actually travel out of state to go get him. Um, because, again, I bought him from one of my... Um, college um friends who does breeding with her and her husband and so i was able to get him and now i have been trying to train him which has been going really really well y'all i don't know if it's this breed of dog or what but he is very very smart even though he is so small he is smart and the potty training part has been going really successfully I have been training him on the puppy pad in the house. And I had to buy a puppy pad holder to hold the pad in place to keep him from um, ripping through it. But because of that, um, it has been making the training part very easy. So I have not been to the pool, y'all, but this is why I have been focused on making sure that I got him adjusted to his new home that i got him feeling pretty comfortable in my presence um that i got him trained which we are still going through it's been a struggle in the process but i'm hoping that now that we are settled he is here your hands in my hair but now that i got settled with him being here now i can get back to my fasting now I can start back going to the pool and all of that. Yeah, he is very comfortable. His feet is up in my hair. But yeah, so this is Zulu Dunn, y'all. And so he's currently, you know, my responsibility. And one thing too, y'all, these dogs attract women. You hear me? A little puppy will attract a woman in a minute. They love to come and talk to you when they see you with a little dog, especially one that's cute. So, yeah, Zulu. So, this is where my um, focus has been probably for the last week or two is him. Let me put him back up. So, that's Zulu. Zulu done. And, um, oh, he is a toy miniature schnauzer. Let me bring him back. A toy miniature schnauzer. So they have schnauzers and then they have miniature schnauzers and then they have the toy breed. Zulu is currently 
Zulu is seven weeks old and he weighs two pounds. Seven weeks old. And um, I named him Zulu, y'all, because first off, he is black. He reminds me of an African king. I'm about to be raising the black king up in here. And also, um, I like the name Zulu because it reminds me of Mardi Gras in New Orleans. If you've ever been to Mardi Gras, then you know about the Zulu ball. Um, they have the Zulu ball and the Zulu parade. And so I wanted to name him Zulu just as a token um, and a reminder of New Orleans and the Mardi Gras festivities and things like that. So, yeah. But Zulu is a toy miniature schnauzer. And so far, so good. He is training pretty well. He is eating. He is getting um, acclimated to being here with me. Um, it's going pretty well, y'all. So now that I have him, I'm going to get back into my fast. And like I said, this morning, I went on ahead and started a new extended fast. And this fast is probably going to... Um, I don't know. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I want to get to maybe 14 days up to 21 days. I'm thinking, but I'm just going to take it one day at a time, y'all. And so that's what I prepare to do coming up. Um, my weight loss and maintenance has still been going really, really well. Um, it's been going well, but I just want to amp it into high gear. And I want to do a little bit of a um a little bit of a rejuvenation for myself in order to um gear me through the summer and gear me towards my birthday because my birthday is still on the horizon, y'all. It's only two months away. And y'all, I had said I wasn't even gonna show Zulu to y'all, but on this channel, I'll let y'all know about Zulu. <clears throat> but on my other channel, y'all, I'm not putting Zulu up there. I'm not putting Zulu over there. But over there, thank you, yeah, Miss B. I be trying, I be trying, I'm trying to get definition, and it's crazy because, like, if you look at the top part, if you look at the top part, it looks like I got some definition, but it's the bottom part that's really, really hard to get, and that's why I go to the pool and um, I actually do pull ups in the pool. Which I had did a poll on this channel to ask y'all if y'all wanted to go to the pool with me. And so now that my life is settling back down and getting back in order, I should be able to take y'all and show y'all some of the stuff that I do. But if you get in the deep end of a pool by the pool ladder, you can do pull-ups on the pool ladder. On the pool ladder, you can. And like I pull myself up. I pull myself. And then also I do like crunches um, just by being at the pool ladder and um, really crunching myself and pulling and pulling. And so that's been helping me. So hopefully um, the remainder of this week, I will be able to get back into the groove of what I was doing before. But I had to get Zulu, get him situated. Make sure that he was trained because that's one thing too, y'all. When I do go to the pool, because Zulu is so young, he's gotten one round of shots. He got his six-week shots, but he still has to get the nine-week shots and the 12-week shots. So he cannot go outside at all. It'll be dangerous for him to go outside. Um, any place where other dogs have been could be dangerous for him because he could pick up... Um, bacteria from them being in the grass and all that and so um i know that once i start returning back to the pool i'm going to have to leave him here and um because i'm going to have to leave him here so that i could get back into my routine i have to make sure that he is potty trained so that's what we've been doing thank you maverick i have to make sure that he's been potty trained Maverick, did you see did you see Zulu? Maverick. Maverick, did you see Zulu? This is Zulu Dunn. His name is Zulu Dunn. And he said, nice to meet you. Um, 
Miss B said, well, when he is fully vaccinated, you can get more walking in. Yeah. And that's what I plan to. But I said, even outside of that, I'm just going to get back into my fasting regimen. And then I'm going to be um, going to the pool. I'm going to thoroughly go to this pool up until the summer is over, y'all. I'm going to make good use of it. Um, but, yeah. Um, I do crate him. Yes, I have this little thing that's like a, a bassinet for him right now. And so at nighttime, when it's time to go to sleep, I put him in here with his toy. And um, I let him sleep up in here. Um, it'll be hard for me to show y'all. Let me see. If, let me see if I can show y'all this thing. This is what I have him in so far. This is what he sleeps in, y'all. And this is his car seat. That's his car seat that um I bought in order for him to travel because we had to travel when I went and got him. And so it fits him so well that I just let him sleep in it with him and his little stuffed toy. And um I just put this near me whether it's near my bed or put it near um if i'm laying on the sofa i put it near me but for the most part y'all he once once he goes number one and number two on the puppy pads then i feel comfortable for him to run around because i know he has emptied out his um bladder and all that and so he typically will just run around but at nighttime i do um have him sleep up in here just to have structure I do have a cage, like a crate that I bought for him. But y'all, he's so small. I don't feel comfortable putting him up in the crate because I really didn't realize he was going to be as small as he is, y'all. And I don't feel comfortable for him to go into the crate yet because he is too little. So that's why I let him sleep up in here. And then as he grows, then I will transition him to the actual crate crate. And that's where he will sleep at night. But, yeah. So, this is what's been going on with my life, y'all. This is what's been going on. Yeah, he got a car seat, Miss B. And, y'all, this is his favorite toy. Y'all, this is called the Snuggle Puppy. If y'all have a new pet and y'all um, want to ease the anxiety of your new pet or dog, get this snuggle puppy because this snuggle puppy has a heartbeat y'all like in here you might not be able to hear but it has a little mechanism that has a heartbeat and y'all this thing is a lifesaver because zulu really think this is mama like zulu don't follow me around the house like most dogs do because as long as I got this out by him, he would rather lay on this. He would rather be around this toy than to follow me around, which is good because it allows me to be able to get stuff done. But he prefers to be around this because he thinks this is his mama, y'all. And his mama, his mama, y'all, um, was a black dog just like this. So he really does think he is still with his family with this so as long as i put him in um in his little area with that toy yeah he don't make a sound he sleep through the night first thing in the morning we wake up i put him on the pee pad to make sure he go and y'all i won't let him get off the pee pad until he go so that's the thing you got to be stern and firm to where i put him there he be trying to walk off, and I'm like, no, don't walk off. I have to pick him up, put him right back on the pee pad. No, pee pee. You need the pee pee. And now he is getting to the point to where he will pee on there. Y'all, he poops on there every single time. He ain't had no accidents. Well, he he peed two times um, whenever I first got him, but he hasn't had any poop accident at all. All of his poops have always been on the pee pad. 
So he is learning slowly but surely. So hopefully this week will allow things to get back into normal for me. And I could get back on my um, journey and get back moving on the right direction with y'all. Again, I just started a new fast, y'all. So y'all got to pray for me. I pray for me. Pray for me. Like I would pray for myself. Because, y'all, it's going to be a little tough. But it's going to be worth it. Like I put on my calendar, because right now we are at, july 13th and so i just woke up this morning and i was like well what if i did a water fast but incorporating these every morning what if i tried to push that out until august that's what i said to myself i said what if i try what if i try to get as close to august as i can with just drinking these and then drinking my waters drinking my green tea, drinking my black coffee. So that's what I'm about to do now as of today. And as of today, I've already been almost 12 hours into my fast. So yeah, we'll see. But I'm definitely going to keep y'all posted. Hopefully this week I will be able to go to the pool and bring y'all with me to the pool. And please like the video. Um, hopefully I could bring y'all. No, it's called the super coffee. It's a coffee, Miss B. It's called the Super Coffee, and it's a keto coffee. <clears throat> Let me read it to you. So, this keto coffee has plant protein and MCT oil, no added sugars. And it is 80 calories a bottle, but like I said, I only drink half a bottle a day. And then it only has three carbohydrates. So it's essentially um, a coffee, but more of an amped up keto version. So, yeah. And all this is the cinnamon roll flavor. I really like the cinnamon roll flavor. They have so many different flavors that you could choose from. But I love a good cinnamon roll whenever I do have a sweet tooth. So I was like, oh, they have cinnamon roll um, keto coffee. So. I do cinnamon roll. And so that's what this is, what I'm drinking. But this is go this is my breakfast. And I'm gonna have this is my breakfast every morning. And then for the remainder of the day, I'm just gonna do my coffee, my tea, and my water and get through it. Cause ain't nothing to it but to do it. But either way, y'all, I really wanted to come and give y'all an update on my progress. I wanted to let y'all know. Um, I first found it at Publix. Miss B, they had it buy one, get one. You can find it at convenience stores like Racetrack, Quick Trip, or anything like that. Like if you go in the refrigerator area of the convenience store where they usually have Starbucks coffees and stuff, like the Frappuccinos, you can find this. And then, um, but I bought it in bulk from Amazon where i was able to get 12 bottles for about i think it was like 12 bottles for about 30 dollars or something like that and so um that's what i've been doing here drinking it so um i only get it from Publix if they have it buy one get one but if they don't have it buy one get one then i just go and buy it in bulk at amazon and just get 12 but like i said because i only drink a half of a bottle per day that 12 that i buy from amazon can end up turning into 24 days worth of coffee because i only drink half i drink half and mix it with iced black coffee so yeah that's what i do but I wanted to come and let y'all meet Zulu, introduce y'all to Zulu, give y'all a little bit of an update, and let y'all know what my plans are going forward throughout this month of July to get through July. And y'all, I'm really going to try to keep busting it and going to the pool and doing my extended fasting until um I can get to August. That's my goal. And just so y'all know, I woke up like this. I woke up like this. I did wash my face and brush my teeth. But I wanted to come here and all my just woke up glory. 
I want y'all to, to see. All I did was take my bonnet off. I want y'all to see how I wake up. But um, anyway, y'all, thank y'all for joining me. I appreciate it. Y'all, I will get Zulu out one last time to say goodbye to y'all and to say goodbye to any of the latecomers. Y'all, I, <laughs> I be having him dancing, y'all. He be dancing. Um, I think it was yesterday. Um, James was doing a cleanup, and you know that song um that everybody be playing, and I I was having him dancing. He be dancing. Y'all better watch out. But either way, y'all. I just wanted to introduce y'all to him. I'm going to get off here. Thank y'all for stopping through. If you're catching a replay, please like the video. Y'all take care. Be blessed. Don't stress. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.